Hi children, today we are with the new lesson from diversity, third part, grade 7. Today's our topic is diversity of the parts of flowering plants. The characteristics of the flowering plant is formation of flowers. Almost all the parts such as stem, leaves, root, bud, flowers and fruits can be seen in most of the plants. Plants show a great diversity among these plants. So, now we are going to discuss about diversity among roots of plants. Normally root system remains underground in the soil. There are two types of root system. One is tap root system. Second one is fibrous root system. These are the pictures of tap root system and fibrous root system. Some plants have single large root which originates from the base of the stem. Some plants have single large root which originate from the base of the stem. It is called the tap root. Large number of roots are originated from the tap root. Large numbers of roots are originated from the tap root. They are called lateral roots. Then you can easily understand that tap root system can be divided into two tap root and lateral roots. Let's see some examples for tap plants which have tap root system. Cupamania, papaya, mango. Okay. Some plants have large number of small roots which are originated from base of the plant system. Plants have large number of small roots which are originated from the base of the plant stem. This type of root system is called fibrous root system. Let's see some examples for fibrous root systems. Coconut, bamboo root, grass, kitul. Okay. Let's discuss about functions of the roots of the plant. Function of the roots. First one is fix the plant to the soil. In this picture also you can see root is helps to the plant to fix to the soil. Next one is absorb water and minerals dissolved in water absorb water and minerals. In here you can see that water H2O is in soil. Minerals are dissolved in that water. The roots are helps to absorb it. Next one is give rise to new plants through vegetative propagation. That means uh, roots helps to get new plants. Give rise to New plants through vegetative propagation. Curry leaves. Bed fruit. Okay. Next one is give space to live microorganisms. Small noodles like structures can be seen in the root stem in mimosa plant. Mimosa means nidikumba. Such noodles are known as root noodles. These are microorganisms called bacteria live inside them. These bacteria supply nitrogen nutrient required for the growth of mimosa plant and root system supplies nutrients for the bacteria which live inside the noodles. Such noodles aren't in plants such as uh, mimosa is the noodle which present in mimosa root, long beans, Beans, Kathuru Murunga, Store food, 
normally we know some uh, things we call yams we call the yams because food is stored in those stools root such roots are known as storage roots food can be stored in tap root as well as in lateral roots this type of roots are called store radish carrot beetroot let's discuss about different types of fruits first one is prop fruits a pop fruit we can see pop fruit in banyan tree function is support the branches can you see that prop roots are supporting the branches in banyan tree to keep its strength next one is slit roots we can see we can see slit roots in uh, rampe and pandanus function is support the stem next one is area roots we can see area roots roots in orchid function is absorb water vapor from the atmosphere some area roots carry out photosynthesis also next root type is climbing roots we can see climbing roots in pepper and beetle climbing roots helps to climb the stem by attaching to another stem next root type is respiratory roots we can see respiratory roots in cardoon kerala function is exchange of air with the atmosphere okay our next main sub topic is diversity among stems recall the nature of the plant stem that you have observed in your surrounding you may have observed very strong stems stems with thick bark as well as stem with various colors these are plant there are plants that grow up with help of the supporters and run on the ground due to their weak stem the basic difference in any type of the stem is whether the stem divides into branches or not the basic difference in any other type of the stem is whether the stem is divided into branches or not let's discuss about functions of the plant stem Oh, okay uh, let's discuss the plants with branch stem unbranched stem these are the plants with unbranched stem coconut arecanut and cocoa palmyra bamboo paddy let's see plants with unbranched stem mango rambutan shoe flower guava functions of the stem is first one bear flowers leaves buds fruits and seeds here bearing flowers bearing fruits next one is support the plant by keeping rigid support the plant by keeping rigid keep the stem straight transport the water and food through the plant body transport water and food through the plant body here you can see in that same picture it's Uh, water and minerals are sub, uh, transporting to the stem produce new plants many plants produce new plants by the stem 
that means vegetative propagation uh, in jasmine plant shoe flower manioc sweet potatoes text one is carry out photosynthesis some plants which green colored stem carry out photosynthesis green color stems hathavarya navahandi irasa aerial stem store food some plants some aerial stems store like food sugar cane kitul stems grow inside the soil are called underground stems all through most stems go above the soil some plants grow inside the soil they are called underground stem potato ginger onion leeks 